one of the things I do when I'm stringing the cable so so it because it's a bit awkward you have to do one side first and the other I uh, and I, because I don't have a fixed I don't fix the uh, turnbuckle on this particular design I just choose to do a little thing to hold this like this to hold the turnbuckle buckle in position in its most open position uh, that's what I like to, it looks like these may be a little off but this should be adequate then when I'm finished I'll release this then release this and um, before I actually tighten it up, I'm going to show you um, a little thing that I'm going to do different. Try it and see if it works. But before I actually put a lot of pressure on the turnbuckle, I'm going to whip the table around to this side over here. You know, I've seen this side before. I'm going to show you this over here. This part over here. This is the the um, where we have the cleat, and then the, and then we also have the two ferrules that hold permanently uh, squeeze in position. Once again, we start from this side over here. I'll run it again. We go across. It is even. The first line is even with the side rail. Come under the top cylinder. Around. And then down to the bottom cylinder, which is a logical uh, progression. Down to the bottom cylinder. Down the bottom, around the bottom cylinder, and then up. Only one time on the bottom cylinder in this particular wrap. And then around the top, as you can see it over here, and then back out here through the hole into the pulley, through the pulley with the turnbuckle, and back down through the pulley down or through the hole out over the over the bottom one around and of course got to go up next only one time on the top because you only need one there back down around and then all the way back to the end here and tighten with the clip